Peripheral artery disease, or PAD, is a narrowing or blockage of the arteries that carry blood to the legs and other areas of the body. One in three people 70 years or older suffers from PAD, and at least 8 million Americans are affected. Dr. T.J. Schneider, a vascular surgeon with SSM Vascular Institute, says that PAD can be a very serious health problem. Peripheral artery disease defines the scope of uh, abnormalities in one's arteries which uh, mostly reflect blockages in the legs. We would typically see a patient coming to us with leg pain when they walk, even short distances or maybe even a few blocks. That's called claudication. And then more severe symptoms would be pain at rest or a non-healing wound which we would consider critical limb ischemia. And what we mean by that is without revascularization, without improving the blood flow in a patient with critical limb ischemia, that person could go on to lose their limb if, if we're not aggressive about improving the flow. Peripheral artery disease is similar to coronary artery disease. It occurs in patients with atherosclerosis, hardening of the arteries, uh, so blockages can develop inside the heart arteries or can develop in the leg arteries. It can also involve blockages uh, going to the kidneys and to the intestines. Risk factors of PAD include smoking, high blood pressure, diabetes, high cholesterol, and a family history of a genetic predisposition to heart disease. There is also a slightly higher occurrence in males. Most PAD patients are over 60, but it can occur at a younger age, particularly in those with a family history of heart problems. Patients with peripheral artery disease typically present to their primary care physician or maybe podiatrist uh, complaining of leg pain or having a, a wound that's slow to heal in their legs. That, that physician would first assess the patient by palpating or feeling for pulses in the feet, in the groin, and then they would typically order a test on that patient that would consist of an arterial Doppler test, which is a test that involves measuring of blood pressure in the legs, even at the toe level, comparing it to the pressure in the arm. If this test shows PAD is present, additional scans are recommended, including an advanced ultrasound called an arterial duplex scan, which can show the extent of the narrowing or blockage of the arteries. An arteriogram is another test that uses a special dye injected into the arteries. X-rays are then taken to determine the severity of the problem and identify what type of treatment may be necessary. Treatment options for PAD would include everything from angioplasty, which is using a balloon to open up a narrowing, to placing a stent, to using an atherectomy device, which would be a machine that we would use to essentially drill out or create a new channel in an artery that's narrowed or completely blocked, to then allow us to use a balloon, a stent, or maybe both. One of the treatments for PAD that we have used for the last five or 10 years at our center is laser atherectomy. This procedure allows us to open up completely blocked arteries with a laser technology that literally vaporizes plaque, breaks it up in pieces, microscopic, smaller than a red blood cell. Some patients have PAD that is so severe that they cannot undergo an endovascular intervention, so they require some sort of open surgical procedure. This open surgical procedure is called bypass surgery, in which a surgeon will bypass the blocked artery with a vein from the patient, or if a suitable one can't be found, with an artificial artery. But the preference is to treat PAD with an endovascular approach, which is less invasive and leads to a faster recovery. Most of the patients that we treat with PAD are treated as an outpatient. That is, they come in the day of, they have their treatment, and they go home the same day. All patients that we treat with PAD undergo post-op surveillance, that is long-term monitoring with the same testing to make sure that the, the area that we treated stays open because there are patients that will develop scar tissue in there. The SSM Vascular Institute has dedicated facilities and a dedicated team to treat the full range of conditions that affect the arteries and veins. At our vascular center here, we offer outpatient intervention, either in a completely ambulatory setting, same-day treatment, and we also offer a very high-tech, hybrid endovascular suite in the uh, surgical area in the hospital where we have one of the most high-tech imaging systems that allows us to do these endovascular therapies and other more invasive therapies with uh, high-tech imaging, which is critical to uh, having the best outcome. 
We have one of the very first accredited laboratories in the country. It's been accredited now for over 20 years and that technology, that diagnostic testing is available right here adjacent to our office. SSM Vascular Institute physicians are recognized for their expertise in the treatment of aortic aneurysms, peripheral artery disease, carotid artery disease, varicose veins, vascular access for dialysis patients, and other conditions relating to the vascular system. For more information or a referral to an SSM vascular specialist, call 1-866-SSM-DOCS.